Good morning, y'all. It is Wednesday, July 7th. Um, halfway through this week. It's a really short week for me, actually, um, because uh, I had off for the 5th, because the 4th of July, uh, and then I have off again this Friday. Uh, today I'll be working in the uh, Infectious Disease and HLA Tissue Typing uh, Lab, which will be a really cool experience, uh, and I hope to show you guys as much as I can. But anyways, I typically start with a morning routine. Um, and so I actually found this app called Fabulous, um, which I'm in no way like sponsored or anything, but I heard about it uh, from a friend. Basically, it helps you to build uh, routines and habits throughout your life uh, and throughout your day. And so that's what I'm gonna get started with. Uh, so I have four habits or routines for the morning. The very starting with the very first one, which is to drink water. The other three are um, right in the journal, uh, so it gives you like a little journal prompt. So it's not like an actual journal, uh, but you write in the app, and so it gives you like a little journal prompt, and you can respond to that. Uh, and then you can also kind of make your own. Um, so one of my own that I add is spend time with God, uh, whether that's like reading a passage or a devotional. Uh, or something like that, uh, and then eating a great breakfast is another one. Um, one that I don't have written down, but that I just kind of do is make my bed. So today's um, journal prompt, it's typically based off some sort of quote, and it says, what does today's quote bring to mind? Uh, it says, keep your face towards the sunshine and the shadows will fall behind you. It's by Walt Whitman. Uh, so basically, you're supposed to respond to that quote. Uh, you get up to 8,000 characters, which is quite a lot. Um, but it's just like a little prompt to get your day started. It's really cool. So the devotional that I'm doing right now is actually um, one of the plans on the Bible app, which are great, honestly. There's a great wide variety on there. Uh, and I think a lot of... Uh, Great messages. Uh, but the one I'm doing right now, I'm actually doing with a friend, uh, which can be great for accountability, is called Romans Explained. Uh, right now we're on part one. We just started a few days ago. Um, it's called Romans Explained, and it kind of goes into the history and theology uh, of the book. Uh, but today's passage is based off Romans 1 18 to 20. Alright, uh, so the last thing that's on my morning routine is to eat a great breakfast. Uh, so we're gonna go do that now. Sometimes I will drive or walk to work. Sometimes I'll drive. Uh, I'm running a little behind today, um, so I'm gonna be driving. It's also super hot out, so we hate that. So I have a bit of time before uh, I have anything that's scheduled for the day. Um, so right now I'm going to take some time and focus and work on my project uh, based on like understanding why families might say no to donation. Uh, so right now I'm working on reading through an article uh, titled Family's Understanding of Brain Death. Uh, and it seems that um, in a previous article I read, families who had higher... Um, or better understandings of what brain death really means uh, were more likely to donate, uh, which is an interesting correlation there. Uh, so I'm reading through some more articles regarding that topic right now. And then around 10, 
uh, we'll head over to the infectious disease uh, and HLA testing lab. Uh, it's through Eurofins, uh, but we're partnered through the Gift of Life. Uh, Eurofins is like a international lab organization. Um, and so we'll get to see kind of the more the microbiome stuff uh, they do there, uh, which is actually a lot more applicable to the stuff that I'm learning at school. Um, just because most of what I've been learning is focused on a lot of like microbiome, microbiome, cell bio, uh, and that kind of stuff. And it's uh, also pretty similar to some of the research that I've done. Um, so yeah, it's a cool experience. I uh, also made sure to order lunch because like I mentioned earlier, we do get free lunch every day uh, from a takeout place, uh, which is super awesome, not only because it's free, um, because you don't have to worry about buying any food for lunch um, or worry about getting it ready before you go into work. Um, so it's super convenient, it saves lots of money. And later we'll be heading over to the Eurofins lab, uh, which is associated with the Gift of Life. Uh, but Eurofins is its own like lab organization. Uh, they're an international group that started in uh, Berlin, I want to say. Uh, that might not be totally right though, uh, so don't quote me on that. Um, but yeah, so we'll head over there around 10 a.m. Um, and they do a lot of like microbio uh, type stuff there. Uh, so they focus specifically on infectious disease and HLA uh, testing, specifically for organ donation, um, which is why they're associated, or this specific lab is associated with us because it allows us to uh, have quick lab results, uh, which is essential for organ donation. Um, but it's a lot of microbio, which is actually a lot more applicable to the kind of stuff that I'm learning at school. Uh, so it's kind of cool to see similar lab techniques uh, and equipment being used, uh, similar to stuff that I'm using in labs, um, both in research and courses at Junietta. Um, so I got back from work uh, and I didn't get to show a whole lot of the lab just because of like different HIPAA violations and also like lab uh, rules and such. Um, but I got to work with uh, HLA uh, typing uh, as well as ABO uh, tests, which was pretty cool. We got to learn how, like, how to identify different uh, blood types like uh, O positive, AB positive, A negative, B negative and all those different kinds of things. So that was really interesting to learn uh, and also see firsthand. I feel like a lot of times you can learn that in a classroom, but we won't actually get to see how the testing is done. Uh, but incidentally, I forgot to charge my camera battery. Uh, and then when searching for my camera battery charger, uh, I couldn't find it. So right now I'm filming on the good old iPhone. Um, so I'll probably be filming on for a good while until I can either find that charger or get a new one. Because without the charger, the battery can't be charged. Without the battery, the camera's not going to work. Um, so that's what we got for now. But we'll make do. But this still works. <laughs> still gets the message out there. Uh, and the content, uh, regardless of what device is being used. Uh, and that's what matters. Um, so right now I'm going to the gym. Uh, then I'll get back and heat up some dinner. So to get around, uh, I've been using this uh, bike share called Indigo, where you basically like subscribe to like a bike service. Um, it's very similar to like, it's called Indigo. Um, it's very similar to like the Citibank bikes that I've seen in New York City uh, and other cities around. Uh, and it's like 17 bucks a month. So I basically have access to a bike for the entire summer rather than buying a bike. Uh, just for the summer that I would only use for that short period of time um, So it's a great investment there, uh, but it's right up here. So I'll yeah, show you guys how it works
so that is basically it for the day. Um, yeah, went to the gym, uh, cleaned up a little bit.